So now we want to show you, ladies and gentlemen, what it looks like for a business. That's why I'm wearing a tie. Okay. So what we're going to see now typically is you want to be able to get new insights into your business and then be able to act on those and integrate those insights into your business processes, which used to take a very long time. Let me show you what that could look like. Imagine I was a businessman, hence the tie, and I am selling bicycles. And this is my standard cube that I'm looking at. I'm analyzing standard information here. I can drill down into this cube. I can see we've got a lot of sales here in a city called Modesto. And I can see here I've got a tag cloud coming in and sales of bikes. But why are we selling so much in Modesto? Good question. Well, again, I can drill down into that cube very simply, drill down, and I can see here perhaps it's a certain bike type that's overselling all others. Oh, it isn't. Hmm. But now I've come to the end of this cube. Now I want to add additional information. If I've got an idea, could it be demographic information, the income in Modesto? Could it be the elevation, the topography in Modesto? I don't know, and I can't change this cube. But now with BW for HANA, you have the flexibility to integrate this information to make it work. How does that look? Well, I've brought along a developer who isn't wearing a tie. Let's have a look. <coughs> Switch to PC number two. So I've bought now demographic information and topology information. How can I integrate that? Right. So let's have a look at the data which, we, which, you, which you bought. Um, let's, let's see how this topographic data looks like. We well, basically that's here have nice. Is it in a Hadoop system or what type In this of case, it's in, a, it's in a Hadoop system. Okay. Right. So it's not even in our BW system, but we can, we can use the, uh, the technology which HANA provides to reach out and link to this data on the fly, basically. And obviously, Without I don't want to, to duplicate that information. Exactly. I just want to use it We leave in it place. in place and access it at a run. Uh, right. So that's what, the, what, the, what your data set looks like. We have roughly 700,000 zip codes, or information for 700,000 zip codes. And here, the numbers basically indicate whether an, a region is flat, which would be a low number, or wh whether it's quite hilly, which would be a high number. And I will so build that now it. into my cube. How do exactly. I do that? Well, let's have a look at the BW data model, which is underneath the, uh, the, the dashboard here. So we switch to the, to the BW system. And if you, if you look at this overview here, which, which uh, shows us how the BW data model underneath the, the dashboard looks like, um, we basically here see these small parts of uh, these small pieces of information. So that would be a small part of, of such a Rubik's cube. And up here, um, we have a, a, a logical layer where we can flexibly combine things. So we can combine things from, from this little cube with this little, little cube. That's what we've done in the past. And now what you're asking is basically, how can we integrate this external source? And that's basically now with BW for HANA. Uh, done within, within minutes or seconds. But last time you told me it would take hours. That's because last time I had to change a very static and fragile thing. Right. I had to reload, I had to retest, and I had to make sure things work. Okay. Nowadays, I just link this data on the fly with the existing data set, and it's much more flexible, much quicker, and less testing effort. Right. So let's see how we can do this. So we basically create a link to, the, to this external data, which we just saw. Uh, here, uh, right in our data model. Okay, so that would be topographic graphic data. It's the master data. So we have to basically specify uh, or specify certain aspects of the data. It comes from an existing source system. So we have created the link to this uh, external Hadoop system. As you will see here in a second, here's basically the connection to the Hadoop system. And now let's see if we find the table which we just looked at. It's exactly that table in our Hadoop system. And now basically, this, this object here, which we see, is, is the link to the Hadoop system. You see exactly the same structure as we saw in the initial slide where we, uh, where we had a quick look at the data. And basically, after activating this, we've added another piece of information to the, B, uh, to the BW data model. And we can now link it to the existing cube, or logical cube, and, uh, and basically uh, start doing analysis, including the new data. So we're taking these parts, adding them to our data set, and creating yeah. something new, exactly. which is just what I wanted. Exactly. So here we have the city, and now we basically link the city information to this topographic information. So here we basically uh, create an association, or some sort of link to Uh, to this data set, 
and we basically will see that we are now able to enhance the data model with the topographic and demographic information which we have in the external database. So basically after activating this object, we are now ready to integrate all of these, the, the, these two additional dimensions into our uh, analysis. And that's it? That's it from my side. So yeah. now if we switch back to my PC, we can see we've actually integrated that information now into the dashboard. In the bottom left hand corner here, you can actually see here then what we've done is we've taken that de demo demographic information down here and the topology information that we've just brought in there, the 1 to 10, is all in there. And we can see here that the sales in Modesto are probably because it's a high income and also it's because it's very, very level in that area. So naturally we'd be selling more bikes. So what we've done now is we've taken that information and given new insights to the business professional. But the business professional wants to use that information not just to get business insight, but also to make his business better. So what we can do is let's say I now want to use that information, that topology information, the level information, and create a marketing campaign on that. How would that look like? Well, it's very, very simple. What I would do now is simply switch over to our marketing system here. Now, what I'm going to do now is I have here a database of over a million customers in here. Now what I want to do very simply is I'm going to first of all obviously select that down to a country so we'll select the USA so I just come down here and select the USA and now you see how fast and simple it is to use the system. Automatically now I'm creating a target group I've taken those 1,200,000 records I've selected the USA. Obviously we only want to take people who want to be emailed so we'll choose the opt-in option here and what I'll do is just select the opt-in option here. So we only obviously want to send out emails to people who want to be emailed to. And finally, I'll take in here uh, prospects. So I'm only going to send that to prospects. So I've done all that very easily. But now we have this new field here, the topographic information. Ooh. It's available now throughout the system. We've imported it so we can use it in BW. We can use it in our business um, warehouse. So now, if I'm only interested in people who are working, living and working in low-lying areas, I can select, say, the, uh, we'll sort this, and obviously one, two, and three are the low-lying areas, and now I can separate those and keep those, and now I've come down from the 1,200,000 to 700,000 to 7, people. Think about what I've done now, the business flexibility that S4HANA and this ability to bring in the data sources to move from this and this to this very simply, very quickly, and very easily. And what's the result of all that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if we go back to our dashboard here, we can now here see that, obviously, we'll zoom into time. We've seen in Modesto, and in quarter four now, obviously, sales are gonna go up hugely, thanks to my brilliant marketing campaign, and at the end of the day, the revenues go up in our organization. And that's the power of S4 HANA, bringing you real business benefits by ability to combine all of that information together, gain new insights, and act on them. That was it from our side. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ben. Thanks a lot.